Nearly four years after an investigation led to the recall of million of, inf of infant inclined sleep products, more child deaths are being reported. Those products include the Fisher Price Rock and Play. In 2019, Consumer Reports revealed at least 36 deaths linked to the sleeper. Since then, that number has tripled. Joining us this morning is Jessica Win Winberry with Safe Kids of Northeast Florida. Good morning. Thank Good you morning. for being with us. Absolutely. I want to, if we could start, in case our viewers missed this a little bit earlier this week, and show a picture of sure. the specific one that has been involved. And what I find so striking about this, Jessica, is, is that this was recalled as a result of deaths, mm -hmm. and then parents appear to still be using it because there's been more deaths. Absolutely. Well, what, what's going on here? So, you know, it's a good reminder that a lot of products are still for sale. You can find things at garage sales. Parents pass things down if they didn't know it was recalled, and so they're still being used. Uh, and, and so uh, that brings us to the point of it's not necessarily because I think that every parent says, well, I don't put a blanket on my baby when they're sleeping and my baby is too young to turn over, right. so it's safe. But that's not necessarily what's going on here. There can be some things that are happening because of the incline. Absolutely. Would you explain maybe sure. using this as yes. an example? So when we think about a, a baby, you know, they don't have a lot of head and neck control and that head's pretty, you know, nice and heavy. So what can happen sometimes is that head can come forward into the, che into the chest uh -huh. and they can close their airway. So when they're at a position that is Four too like angled, this, right? then they can close off their airway. And so remember, we always want babies laying flat on their back when they're sleeping. So I know that you brought the boppy. Yes. Okay, um, th there's no recall involving the boppy, and we're gonna show some images of other things that, that parents need to consider um, very closely. What is it about the boppy that could be a risk to a sure. baby? And there are some types of boppies that have been recalled. And so I think that's a reminder to parents as well. You know, there's a Fisher Price brand of things, there's another brand of things, and so some some products may be recalled, but there's also similar ones that could be misused. So the design of the boppy was to help a breastfeeding mom yeah. to support their baby. But what we see a lot of times is that parents kind of use these mm -hmm. and prop their baby up, maybe even prop up with a bottle and leave them unattended, even if it's just for a few minutes. And so what can happen again here is being at that angle, chin can come to, head can come to chest, and babies can also slightly move there and it becomes a suffocation risk. So we're really looking at things as being a suffocation risk. And we want to remind also, it's not that baby's going to flail or make a lot of noise. This can happen silently with your back turning. You don't even realize it. Jessica, while we're talking, I'd like to show our viewers, these are some of the images of other um, products that could also pose a risk. What's the danger with this, if not careful? So what we always want to do is make sure we're reading owner's manuals. Owner's manuals really do give us a lot of information and sometimes they just they say in the owner's manual this is not designed for a sleeping baby. To a normal parent or caregiver sometimes when they look at these items it certainly looks like this is designed for a sleeping baby and so they may be misused. And we'll see that the Consumer Product Safety Commission has actually really come out with some new recommendations um, to help parents be able to read through and understand better what things are designed for sleeping. So remember, it's a pack and play, a crib, or a bassinet that's going to have stable legs. It has a certain side on, you know, a certain amount of height on the side that allows babies to lay flat on their back and doesn't have an incline of more than 10 degrees. Okay, and I think the incline is the important part here. I'd like to run through some of the other images also that you sent. I, I'm, we're not suggesting that these are dangerous, but what we are telling you is, is that, that they're not meant for babies to sleep in, particularly unattended. And if we'll continue um, to just show all of the, so for example, something like this. Yeah. And this is something that some of us may have used years ago when we had babies because the recommendation by the American Academy of Pediatrics had been back or side. And so some of these positioners helped us accomplish those. But, but what we learned with research is that these become a suffocation risk. And so we want to make sure that babies are not using them. There's no, there's no time that we need to use those. Um, anything that has an angle here, if we look like at this, that, for example, this sure. is really creating, look at that, you can kind of see there the head, and this could be at an angle that's, that's more than 10 degrees, and so not designed for an unsupervised sleeping baby. And then, and then while we of course have you, we want to remind also our viewers at home, nothing in the crib or pack and play with infants. That's right, and no sleeping within a parent's or caregiver's bed or 100% sleep don't Absolutely. sleep in it. So no blankets, no pillows, no bumpers in the yep. crib, and the, and 
and the risk, and we've done these stories together for years and years, please don't ever bring your infant into bed with you. You think that you'll never roll over on them or that blanket can't get on top of them. We see it all of the time. We've reported on deaths after deaths as a result of it. Thank you, Jessica, for Thank your time. You. We do really appreciate it.